Greetings, and welcome back to the Midnight Spook Show here on the Horror Metal Channel. What have you guys been up to lately? Me? Well, uh, I'm in a new band. Pretty cool. And uh, I saw The Lost Boys at the movie theater um, a few days ago, and I'm going to be seeing Fright Night on the 15th. So my two favorite vampire movies, both at the theater. How awesome is that? Just within, within a few weeks of each other. So, pretty cool. Um, you guys ready for... Hellhounds Love Some Lore, episode 23, I believe. I know I am. I got my uh, Rettar bar ready to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. My recent purchases. Oops, yeah, there they all go. They all just fell down. One second. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Having some technical difficulties, but anyway, <laughs> let's go and jump right in. Now they're all uh, kind of a mess, but oh well. That's okay. Uh, let's start with the Funko Pops. Um, here I got uh, the Joker, the Jack Nicholson Joker from Batman 1989. Pretty cool. Um, glad to have that in my Funko Pop collection. We got... Uh, Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. Oh yeah, got that Piccolo. And He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. <laughs> oh yeah, glad to have those. My Funko Pop collection. Um, and we'll get some other figures I got. I got a. Uh, Pinhead from Hellraiser. Oh yeah. Very glad to have him. Add him to my horror figures collection. Because of my Jasons, my Freddy, Michael Myers, Lars Vegas, and Ash and Chucky. Oh yeah, he comes with cool accessories. Once I figure out how to get him to hold that puzzle box that is just falling, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, very happy to have Pinhead. Very cool. We have such sights to show you. Tear your soul apart. Hell yeah. Ultimate Pinhead. Pretty cool. Then, we got Eddie from Iron Maiden, the mascot Iron Maiden, you know, and Vic Rattlehead, the mascot of Megadeth. My two favorite metal mascots here. <laughs> Very happy to have them. I haven't opened them yet, but I plan to. I'm going to open them and put them on display somewhere. Yep. Very happy to have them. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Next, let's look at comic books. Well, I got one recently, and that's uh, Incredible Hulk 107, where he fights the Mandarin, Iron Man's arch nemesis. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool seeing Iron, seeing uh, the Hulk face off against the Mandarin. So, actually, I actually haven't read this yet, but I'm uh, going to here soon. Uh, maybe after I finish this video, I'll go ahead and give this a read. Because it looks awesome. For sure. Now let's look at DVDs. Actually, no, first let's look at vinyl. Look at vinyl. Got some new vinyl lately. Got Black Sabbath, the self-titled debut album, which um, contains the track Evil Woman, which isn't on my CD, but it doesn't have Wicked World, like some of the other, uh, some of the remastered releases do on CD, but uh, it's, it's vinyl, so go figure. It's a record, so I don't expect it to be on there. Um, still very happy to have it in my collection. Um, oh, yeah. My favorite band. This is their first album, so gotta have that. Then we have Point of Entry by Judas Priest. Gotta have some Priest. This isn't like anywhere near one of my favorite Priest albums, but I still love it. And I'm still glad to have it in my collection. <laughs> gotta have some Priest. Very happy to have that. 
And now for DVDs, finally got the uh, Matt Spith and Peter Capaldi collections of Doctor Who on DVD. To go with my Christopher Eccleston and David Tennant. So I pretty much have the complete run of the the new uh, Doctor Who series starting in 2005, except for everything after Peter Capaldi. I don't have any of the Jodie Whitt Whittaker um, series yet, but I'll get them eventually. Probably once they're on the complete set. So yeah, glad to have these in my Doctor Who collection. Good stuff. The only other DVD I got is uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly, the movie. Um, happy to have this. I actually haven't watched it yet. I haven't finished uh, Dragon Ball Super, the series, yet. So um, I need to get it. I need to finish watching that ASAP. Because it's some good stuff, definitely. And next we have some Blu-rays. I feel like I had more stuff, but I guess not. Huh. Huh, oh well. First we got Intruder. This is the unrated director's cut. So, more gore. And uh, yes, Bruce Campbell is in this movie, but it's only very brief. Very, very brief. So if you're a Bruce Campbell fan, you might be disappointed because he's not in this movie very much. Um, but it's pretty awesome. It's filled with killer special features. <laughs> yeah, it's got the DVD too. So yeah, very happy to have Intruder. Next we have Pieces, which, wow, did they do a good job on this release. Um, wow, this is awesome. It's a three-disc deluxe edition of two Blu-rays and a CD. Yeah, it comes with a CD, the soundtrack. <laughs> Yeah, pretty cool. You don't have to go to Texas for a chainsaw massacre. That's what I learned. That's the tagline of this movie. That's what I learned while watching it. I thought that that all had to take place in Texas. You know? That's what I thought. But, oh well. Yep. Pieces. I'm mean, very happy to have this one. Oh yeah. Next we have Edge of the Axe, another pretty good slasher film, released by Arrow Video. Yes, Edge of the Axe. Lots of bonus features. It's a pretty good movie too. And like uh, Scream Factory, you can um, you can change out the uh, the cover for the original cover, which I actually like this cover better. But if you prefer the original, that's there. But all in all, very happy to own this one. I suggest you do the same. Next we have Mortal Kombat Legends, Scorpion's Revenge. I'm a huge fan of the Mortal Kombat video games, and when I heard that an animated movie that was R-rated, uh, that was going to be really violent, was coming out, I was psyched. And this one doesn't disappoint. Do you guys yourselves a favor, go out and buy this if you're a fan of the games. Comes with a DVD and Blu-ray. Hell yeah. And Scorpion's my favorite character too, so seeing a movie that follows him, I think that's a fantastic idea. Hell yeah. Very happy to have that. And last but not least, um, I went ahead and finally got uh, one upgraded. I have these movies on VHS. It's a franchise. It's two movies. About to be three. Actually, it is three now because the third one just came out. Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. It's a double feature. And Bill and Ted Face the Music just came out. And I need to go see that ASAP because I love these freaking movies. Uh, they're a lot of fun. Oh yeah, so... I had them on VHS all these years. I never got them on DVD. I finally did an upgrade to Blu-ray. Very happy to have them. And uh, I think that's about does it. Um, I think that about covers it. Alright guys, well, uh, let me know what some of your uh, recent uh, acquirements are. Any... any horror halls or anything cool um let me know in the comments below or feel free to make your own video 
Uh, thank you for watching Hellhounds about some lore. I'm um, here on the Horror Metal channel. Hi guys, I'm Hellhound. Thank you for watching. Later.